Alright guys, so I know a lot of you Lee Sin players struggle with playing him in the late game. Most Lee Sin players experience this, even I do. This is normal, because Lee Sin does not scale as well as other champions do, and his kit is a lot more potent for a laning phase than it is for team fighting. The first step to improving your late game as Lee Sin is to accept that. You need to tweak your playstyle and completely alter your team fighting mechanics when you get into these late game situations. So what playstyle should you have? While in the early game you want that super aggressive, pervasive, in your face playstyle, in the late game you will get punished for this. So instead, you have to get a lot smarter, less cocky, and you need to understand your role in teamfights. Now before I jump into teamfighting mechanics, we need to talk about an important aspect of League that many players overlook, especially in lower elo. While teamfighting is something that you will do in almost every game, teamfighting is not mandatory. You don't need to win 5v5s in order to win the game. Yes, it's true that Lee Sin is a lot harder to teamfight with, but you can avoid teamfighting altogether if you switch your focus off of teamfighting and instead try to create advantages through other means. Sometimes it's a split push, sometimes it's a pick, sometimes it's just sieging turrets with an advantage. I just felt it was important to mention that before I talk about actual teamfighting mechanics. Okay, so quick recap. We've went over that you need to alter your playstyle to become safer and smarter. We've talked about avoiding teamfights altogether through forcing advantages through other tactics. And we briefly mentioned knowing your role in teamfights, which is what we're now going to focus in on. Often you'll be in situations where teamfighting is your best option, or maybe your only option. When this happens, you need to be ready. You need to understand what to do. There's no easy formula for this, but what I'm going to do is break it down into possible options. Keep in mind that the options depends on completely on the circumstances. Who's on your team, who's on their team, who's got most of the gold, etc. Alright, so option one. The first and most obvious team fighting tactic is to go for the backline. Leeson players seem to think that this is the only option, to play make and insect the carry into your team. This option is most impactful when the enemy team has one extremely fed carry, be it a mid laner or an ADC, or possibly even another role. If you insect a 1 in 5 Ash, but the enemy top and jungler are both 10 and 0, this option becomes extremely useless. You're kicking an unimportant target, and in the process you're leaving your backline exposed to the fed frontliners. So the insect in teamfights should only be used if you need to catch out an important backliner. Now I know what you're thinking, Heisman, this is much easier said than done, and when I go for these insects, I often get myself killed. You're right, and that's why I have developed my own remedy for this. Get a Guardian's Angel. GA is one of the best items for late game Lee, as it gives you a get out of jail free card and allows you to go for risky plays without completely throwing a team fight. So try building a GA on Lee if this becomes your course of action. That brings me to option two. As I mentioned before, often the gold can primarily be on the enemy frontliners, in which case going for the pick on the backline becomes rather useless. This is when you want to shift your focus to peeling and fighting the opposing frontline. Lee Sin's ult is actually a really great form of peel, and 5 points in your W can provide a great shield for your backline. Now I know that often your backliners might be really bad at positioning, and all the peel in the world won't save them, but you can't control your teammates. I want you to focus on your job and hope that they do theirs. Option 3. This team fighting tactic kind of goes hand in hand with the option 2 and is basically just an extension of option 2. If you want to take your Lee Sin game to the next level, if you want to unlock Lee Sin's full capabilities, you need to learn how to aim your kicks. It's one thing to kick a frontliner away from your carry, and it's a whole nother thing to aim or redirect that kick into the enemy's backline. This is best done in choke points, but if you can get good with the kick flash combo, you can do this just about anywhere on the map. Now that pretty much covers your focus as Lee Sin in the late game, but it's also important to remember your role as a jungler in general. One thing that I notice frequently, whether it's bronze or even diamond, is lack of pressure on side lanes. In the mid and late game, side lane pressure is something that helps dictate where the enemies will be. For example, if top lane is shoving into a tier 2 turret, you can expect someone will go to clear that wave to prevent them from losing a turret or allowing you to freely rotate. As a jungler, you're kind of the safety valve for every lane. Remember, this is solo queue. People are going to sometimes forget to push their lane before leaving it. Or maybe your top lane chose to TP bot in order to set up a kill, but in the process left the lane in a vulnerable state. This is where you can step in. Go and cover the lane, maybe even shove the lane to apply pressure on the enemy. Lane pressure is extremely important in the late game when you are trying to push down objectives. So always remember that as a jungler, you are a safety valve for every lane. That is going to wrap up how to play Lee Sin in the late game. Remember to follow the other concepts I taught in my Season 6 Lee Sin guide, which included things such as how to kick flash, how to gank, and also just how to build. I know this video was a little less formal than most of my guides, and a lot of these concepts might still seem a little fuzzy to you, but that's just because the late game is extremely dynamic. 
With that being said, I hope this did give you more confidence on playing Lee Sin in the late game. Remember to like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks again, guys. Until next time.